today's episode of the tenant i am in bangalore in bangalore i am in one of the most expensive streets of the city our tenant today is a young couple that stayed in mumbai for many years and then shifted to bangalore why did they do that what works for them and what doesn't let's meet them hey vishal hi hi they just good to see you very good evening come in Welcome to our simple yet very functional home. Well, That's Priya. Hi Priya. Hi wife. Nice to meet you. Welcome home. So you said simple and functional home. Yes, it's simple and functional. We by design kept it uh, very simple and basic. Looks big, quite uh, grand. How big is this house? This is about 2100 uh, carpet. 2100 square feet carpet. So what is it that gets uh, Tejas and Priya to Bangalore? I'm I started out uh, a venture uh, right after covid so uh, as luck would have it my previous company got acquired during covid and uh, then I started a venture called Ospo uh, and the office is here so starting office here was the right idea at the time when we shifted here so basically startup means no, no more bombay bangalore right for now i am traveling all across the country okay so Ospo we are trying to build what will go on to become probably a Zomato equivalent for jewelry, so and we are trying to make gold accessible for everyone. So I'm trying to onboard jewelers all across the country. So uh, it's been about ten months here. I think I probably spent six months of those uh, traveling outside of Bangalore. Okay, Priya, why this location? It seems to be amongst the most premium parts of Bangalore. Why this? Right. So. Um I worked as a cabin crew for almost 16 years with two private international airlines and uh, I quit my job uh, I was based out of Bombay all this while and I quit my job May in May last year uh, post that I decided to go on a sabbatical honestly and that's when Tejas sprang up this idea that you know okay uh, let's move to Bangalore because of his startup of course and then I started interviewing uh, at different places at different companies in Bangalore and uh, I got through a job at a venture capital firm which at which i'm working uh, at the moment and it was in indranagar 100 feet road so everyone that we spoke to our friends acquaintances people from bangalore they said if you have got a job already then it is a must that you live close to your workplace and not too far away because you got to spend an insane amount of time just being on the road absolutely non productive so from basically Bayern. bangalore traffic and commute yes. scared you, you want to be close to your home. <laughs> very much, I was scared, <laughs> scared and scared. So yes, yes, I think it was very wise. It was very wise because I practically walked to office 200 meters away. It takes me like two or three minutes to just get to my office. So Tejas, what part of this 2100 square feet carpet area uh, house do you guys spend the most time in? So I, I, I would let Priya answer her part, but I am the one who is maximum at home. Uh, I work almost five to six days uh, out of home when I'm in Bangalore. Uh, this is this area right here is my usual go-to spot. So later half of the evening, parts of the day when I am feeling not working from my office and I'll take you to my office as well. But this then becomes my office. I'm still a very much a ground person. I love to sit down on the floor, uh, watch TV, uh, wa work while watching TV, even my dinner, at least one meal in the day will happen here. On the ground? On the ground, on the carpet. So, okay, so this is your, well, everything in a way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in a, in a way. This, this, this spot right there, yeah, it, it, it's like Sheldon spot for me. Okay. <laughs> and this will be your workroom? Yeah, this is my workroom. So, uh, now that I've started out, uh, practically for five to six days in the week, I am uh, home. This pretty much becomes my most spent time over here. Uh, this is we wanted to set it up like a proper home office and this is as you can see is, is pretty much designed like that um, pretty much all all the time from morning once I'm ready to start my work till till whatever hour I'm here from here I will at some point shift to that spot and that's practically my day spent uh, so basically here and that magical carpet of yours <laughs> yes right yes, yes, that's what yes, it is yes. okay. so is it is it tough to uh, shift from a city like Mumbai to Bangalore? See, Bombay for me is acquired home. I'm born and brought up in Raj, like Sudan and then I've lived a very long part in uh, Rajkot Wets where schooling happened. That's where schooling happened. And uh, since then what has happened is that Bombay became 
a place where I did my college, maximum amount of work happened there. So it's very difficult to take Bombay out of me. I do miss Bombay. Uh, Bombay, but Bangalore has its own charms. So Priya, one of the things everybody tells me about Bangalore is that getting an apartment here <laughs> is tough. How tough was it to, for you guys to get this apartment? Well, honestly Vishal, uh, when Tejas proposed that we move to Bangalore, uh, he actually promised me a biggish house at half the rent. And I was sold uh, you know, at the thought and the idea of it. So when we started our journey of uh, looking for the houses, uh, we were actually in for a rude shock and uh, something that was absolutely unexpected, you know, uh, because we, we started uh, around in July end, started uh, taking trips to Bangalore. We made at least six trips to Bangalore within a span of two months. What I was to do, uh, I used to come to Bangalore on a Monday. Uh, I used to stay at a cousin's place uh, until Friday and then uh, see houses, you know, give, give uh, my contact to multiple brokers, uh, give them my requirement and uh, would go and see, uh, hire an Uber, go in the morning, see houses, come in the evening and the same, uh, you know, the same uh, process would be repeated day in, day out, Monday to Friday. So how many and, apartments did you uh, see overall? Wow, okay. Um, physically, at least 60 to 70 plus, online with brokers, through photos, through videos, I think, uh, 120, 130 plus. Wow. Yeah, and of course, uh, the online sites and everything. So how did you get this apartment? Okay, that, that's again a funny story. This was actually, I remember the, the evening really well. Uh, I was almost, I had given up hope. I had al already told Tejas that, you know, uh, we'll have to, we'll have to add the delay uh, coming to Bangalore because we haven't found a house. And uh, the broker said, you know what, there is one house. Uh, why don't you see it? It's not on the market. I just got to know via via someone that there is this house. But uh, you'll have to actually uh, wait for the uh, wait to meet the landlord before you meet, uh, see the house. I said, okay, fine. I mean, I'll do whatever, right? So I I, uh, I come to this house. I remember standing down and the landlord actually interviewing me and asking me questions about where I work, what I do, what my family does, and stuff like that. And uh, we we stood there chatting for half an hour, and that's when he tells me. Uh, okay, um, I think I like you guys. I like your story. You know, you you you're starting something new. You're you're struggling. Uh, uh, you you have great dreams. You know, and I'm all all uh, in for a hustler. So you know, why don't you come and see the apartment, and then you can decide. So until and, until then, he had uh, he was talking to you downstairs. Yes, he didn't show you the apartment. Yes, yes, absolutely. And we were there, and then th then we came up. We, we saw the house. There was already someone living there, and then. Uh, they were, uh, the person was just about to move out in a couple of days. Uh, so we saw the house. I, I almost um, instantly fell in love with the house. It, it's got a great vibe. I, I called uh, Tejas. I said, you have to come here right now. And um, this, this house is not going to stay. It's going to go. There are multiple people uh, already uh, you know, putting an offer on this house. You've got to come, come right now, wherever you are uh, in the next half an hour. Just be here. Let's, let's speak to the owner and let's finalize this. Okay, so Priya, that was on the challenges of being a tenant in Bangalore or yes. becoming a tenant in Bangalore. Yes. <laughs> uh, that kitchen, the first time when I walked in, uh, this thing caught my eye. It's <laughs> huge and it's open. Was it a big factor in you guys locking this apartment? Oh, oh definitely. Uh, uh, just like you, when I walked into this apartment uh, that year, that time, uh, it caught my fancy too. Uh, Coming from Mumbai, uh, yes, of course, our last house in Mumbai did have a biggish kitchen, but Mumbai houses don't otherwise, generally. And the houses that I saw in Bangalore also, uh, compared to all of them, this one was the largest by far, you know, that I'd seen. And of course, it, it came uh, like we, we wanted everything modular, mostly automated, so we got most of the white goods that the uh, owner had already, the landlord had already installed. So that meant that we wouldn't have to do much, invest much into, uh, into stuff in here. So someone like you, since you spent time in aviation and uh, flying across, mm -hmm. and, uh, is it tough to go to a 9 to 5 routine? <laughs> uh, yeah, the grass is always greener on the other side, what they say, however cliche, but it is very true. Yes, uh, when I was flying, I would uh, yearn for uh, weekend offs and uh, 
public holidays off because Tejas' uh, job was that way, right? He would get weekends off. So I, I would I would really uh, want to be at home during weekends, but I would never be able to make time. I think all those past 16 years, I was never ever uh, at home on uh, festivals and on uh, weekends especially. Uh, so when I switched to a corporate job, uh, yeah, the 9 to 6 as they typically call it, I, I think it was a blessing of course. I, uh, there are parts of uh, aviation, uh, uh, being in aviation that I miss. Uh, but overall I think I'm liking this new, this new uh, space that I'm in currently. Okay, so basically earlier you had the, uh, the vibrant colourful job. Right now, Tejas has that. He's always on the move. That's right. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say I'm always on the move or uh, the definitely not the most colorful one. It, it's a lot of struggle. Uh, starting out a venture is definitely a lot of struggle. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on the move quite a bit. Uh, let, let's take you to the other aspects of the house. This is the bedroom. Uh, this is the master bedroom and in true sense it is master bedroom. Oh. So as you can see it, it is fairly spacious. Again the good part was all of this furniture came along with the house and um, that was our basic criteria that we just wanted to make sure that you know we don't go about uh, going about uh, setting it up. Uh, we had completely run out of time. The other parts of the bedroom came uh, like we set it up but the most of the things that you see here were there already. Uh, the best part is the wardrobe and all was very well done, good craftsmanship, good wood, uh, no, no um, half measures there. So that became a huge advantage. I mean, this, as you can see, is, is uh, privacy is a bit of an issue, but that's the part of being on a first floor. Okay. Given a choice, we would always live on a much higher story. Okay. okay, so this is the master bedroom, like you said. This is yes. big. Yes, yeah. it is. And that and has an attached bathroom as well. It, it has an attached bathroom. Okay. So that is, is, is one of the things. Um, having seen so many houses, the washroom is not that big. Okay. Uh, okay. It's again very well crafted, okay. but uh, not as big as what you would one would see in Bangalore. So basically, Tejas and Priya have seen so many apartments that. <laughs> that, that, that they'll be able to give, uh, you know, property, uh, property uh, listing yeah, companies yeah, a run can, for their money. We, we can definitely tell you uh, the lay of the land and what's what and uh, what to look for. Okay. So here, this is the master bedroom, the big, this will be the third bedroom, right? Yeah, that's that's where, so my parents are in Rajkot. Uh, what, what, is, what is this? So this is something that has travelled with us, now four houses. It was one of the, when I was in one of the smallest Bombay houses. There's no room for dining room. So we had converted this into a foldable table and these benches were designed as if they can be, they can move around. So if the guests are there, if there is a house party or something, it's a multi-utility thing. And it would just looks like as if it's a fun frame, single frame. So yeah. So bringing the Bombay touch to Bangalore. Yes, yes, very much. Oh. But that's the beauty of it. If you see the house looks big because we have kept it extra minimal. Everything is by design, very functional. We didn't want to, like before we came in, the, the, the previous uh, tenant had designed it extremely well but it was that approach was maximalism the house was packed to every like there was not a free wall so uh, even the landlord is very surprised that you know this house looks so much bigger now that you guys have moved in it's because we've kept it uh, bare okay. minimum so Vishal this is where parents uh, as and when they visit uh, are here. Both set of parents are not here. Priya's parents are in Ahmedabad, mine are in Rajkot. So this room as and when they visit is their room, otherwise it's a spare room. So practically we have company of somebody or the other. Priya's sister also now comes with uh, her uh, Priya's niece, her daughter. So practically for about three to oh, four months we have this room occupied with somebody or the other. This completes the entire apartment? Yes. And, yes. Uh, this is what really made the, did the trick for you, the apartment? I, I, I would say so, but I think I would just give 40-50% to this. Like, for us it wasn't by design, we didn't want to stay here. But incidentally, once we moved in, what we discovered is that we are in what you would, let's say, you come from Bombay, so if I were to draw a parallel, this is Pali Hill of uh, Mumbai, right? And it wasn't that we were looking for it. Now that whenever I tell anyone that, oh, I live at 100 feet road and uh, defense colony, it's a thing. Okay. So I'm going to talk you around, I think we should go out and check okay, the locality. I, I, since you said Pali Hill or Bangalore, I'm keen to see it. 
Okay. So, you're really good. I'm a big uh, fan of architecture okay. and some really good architecture okay. to be Let's spotted see. here. Let's see. Okay. So, Tejas, you said this is the key reason to be yeah, here. So, so uh, almost 40%, this is 60%. So, uh, the, 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 now, you know, let me sort of talk like if I were from Bangalore. So, first thing you'll notice is the amount of greenery and defense colony particularly is extraordinarily green. So you can see the amount of green coverage and the green foliage all across is incredible. Um, and then, um, you know, being a, a, like if I was not doing what I'm doing today, and if I had at the right time, the right education, I would have been an architect. And from that eye, there is just so many good buildings and apartments and villas that one would see over here. I think the, this part of the city will have the best of the best architecture per se and I do talk about this uh, quite regularly that you know Bangalore in that sense is we wouldn't call a village but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a city or a town which is not, not ready for what has happened to it there's this sheer explosion of people coming in the number of startups the tech companies and, and the number of jobs over here so you will see an interesting mix of a lot of old money traditionally built houses very well crafted and then you will see like it, it's, it's noticeable when you walk through the streets that okay this is changed with a modern avatar of it. So tell me for all of this, you, you showed the house, this locality is clearly like you called it the Pali Hill of Bangalore. Yeah. How much rent are you paying? Ah, uh, tricky question. I, I, you're going to make me sound so foolish. Uh, so what we pay is uh, as much as what we were paying. So I was living in uh, 14th V Road car which is Bandra practically. Uh, what I was paying there is what I'm paying. So how, one, how much would this be? How much would this be? One like thirty thousand to be precise uh, is what I'm paying. But it also a deposit is a big thing over here. This uh, landlord went out and negotiated. So he was kind enough to say I'm going to keep your rent low. Uh, like there is an interview that happened and. So he, he literally reduced his price, but he jacked up the... So 1 lakh 30,000 for Bangalore seems... 20 lakhs as a deposit. Wow. So, in, I'm practically in a, in a smaller town in Rajkot, I can get a full house for that. Like I can buy out a house for that. What, what next for uh, Tejas and, and Priya? Uh, are you guys looking to be in Bangalore, buy a house? What's the thought? I don't believe in buying houses. I believe that you know two three things uh, I, I don't have we don't have kids and we decided not to have kids so that became a very interesting point uh, for us because now we are completely free to be in any part of the world not only country uh, and be working out of there as long as we find a right source of earning and and therefore um, so do basically I, you would I be buying a house no no definitely not in uh, Bangalore you haven't had the constant barrage of uh, uh, well, peer pressure, family pressure to oh, ensure that you, that you start a family. You I, I, I know where it's going, that. yeah, no, no. So we've been, uh, we've been resisting it for a good 12 years. We, me and Priya lived in and was one of the primary conditions when I was getting married. We wouldn't have got married. Uh, if, if we would have been left to our choice, we were just like, you know, if we are living together, why do we need this tag of, it's a controversial decision uh, in that sense. Uh, but we did, uh, parents insisted, uh, and I, I also thought, why not? But, uh, but, but then, uh, otherwise, Priya and you would have been comfortable just staying together without getting married. We, we, we would have been, we, we were committed. I think uh, more than the tag of getting married, commitment is more important and that, that was always there. The, the peer pressure was what you were asking for? Definitely, yes, we've gone through uh, a decade plus of it. Uh, we have had our share of people wanting us to change our mind. Parents have tried every possible trick in the book. Uh, they've been kind, they've been kind, they've been uh, very supportive of our decision, but I, I think they, they come from a point of concern. You stayed in Mumbai, you said in uh, uh, earlier in the show. Uh, now you're in Bangalore. Yeah. Uh, what's the one thing about Bangalore uh, that you don't like, which Mumbai has? Uh. Western Express Highway and Eastern Express Highway. Having been in Mumbai for such a long time, uh, for me, uh, um, the energy, the, the, just the, the vibe that, um, you know, you, you set out in Bombay, you be in a local train, not that I have traveled in local train for a long time, but you just sense the energy of that city. And in what people say is ruthless, I quite like it. 
I, I in fact I was quite addicted to it. Uh, so that's that's what I miss. But uh, and a higher story. We we live on a first floor. Well, they just come to Mumbai again or Bangalore it is uh, <laughs> uh, well for at least the medium term future uh, Bangalore for now I, I I don't see shifting anytime uh, soon to Mumbai but you know I, I, I and this is on a parting note I will tell you and it's a thing I have always used that uh, Bombay is a bit like uh, Hotel California you can check in but you can never leave okay on that note Tejas uh, thank you for coming on the tenant uh, you, you made big shifts uh, Mumbai to Bangalore uh, I can clearly see that you and Priya are an unconventional couple as well in your housing decisions as well as your personal decisions. So all the best for your startup. Thank you so and much. Yeah, Thank you so next much. Time yeah. I, next time when you're in Bombay, hopefully yes. your startup would have thrived a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I, I hope to so. And uh, when I'm in Mumbai, I'm definitely giving you a shout out. And enjoy Bangalore while you are uh, here. I shall do that. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much. Time for the report card. This is a large three bedroom apartment over 2100 square feet building, uh, reasonably new. Uh, location, well this is one of the most exclusive locations of Bangalore. Uh, very vibrant, a uh, lot of cafes, bars, restaurants, also a lot of different type of offices over here from law firms to venture capital firms. Connectivity, uh, road connectivity is strong to major parts but it's far away from locations that really constitute today's startup hub of Bangalore. So all in all, if you're a person, family uh, that wants uh, a peaceful residential area, wants some vibrancy along his neighborhood, is willing to pay a premium, uh, is okay with making long commutes uh, if he's working in the startup world, this is sort of location and residence that can be considered.